Now, Heartland Sports with Jess Todd. Opening week of college football for our teams in the heartland. SIU and SEMO, as you just saw, Saluki's got a winner on the board. You're looking at a couple of the postgame highlights. They were at home. We got to be here in Carbondale to get you the highlights of this awesome game to get things going. So, here we go. Most tailgates all about wasting away in Margaritaville, but not the opener for SIU. Freshman students, the Saluki run every year, get to trade in two pina coladas for running down Saluki Stadium. Then it was the dogs. Nick Baker coming into the season, just two completions away from breaking the SIU career completions record. First offensive play, and there's number one. Nick Baker ties the record later in the drive. There it is. Baker stands alone. Five Five, six o'clock somewhere for Nick. 560 sets the new record. Later in the drive, Baker scrambling, can't find anywhere to go, still running around. Somehow finds the last plane to Saigon. Justin Strong, touchdown, seven nothing Salukis. Get the flags going. Later, second quarter, SIU inside the five row. Elliott bought a boat, sailed off in it. 14 nothing Salukis in the blink of an eye. Something about a dog in this defense today, too. Strip sack by Devin Cowan. Antonio James took over as defensive coordinator just a day before the Saluki started training camp, but his guys were ready today. And then the ensuing possession, Justin Strong switched from sales to steam. 21 nothing SIU. Then the defense back at it. They weren't given the Austin P offense an inch all game long. Dune Smith, check out the tip drill, and he comes down with it. Changes in latitude, changes in attitude. Pick six. It's 28 nothing. Salukis at the half. The entire fan base at Saluki Stadium going crazy. Still weren't on island time, even in the second half. Baker to Jalen Benefield, airing it out 54 yards to the house. Salukis run away with it. Rest in peace, Jimmy Buffett. What a way to get their first win of the season. So we're across the street post game waiting for the dogs to come up from the locker room following that win to hear from them at the podium right behind us. This is where they'll be. We're going to have all of that reaction coming up tonight at 10. So make sure you're back with us for that. As for now, though, we also have an update on the SEMO score. Didn't quite go 